Okay, so we have a very simple problem, and, and this one says, calculate the power output of a 1.5 gram fly as it work, walks straight up a window. So we have a, we have a window here, and as commonly seen in households, um, there's a black fly. Oh, well, you can't see black on here, so so there's a there's a little black fly, and it's like walking up the window at 2.3 centimeters per second. Well, let's convert these units to units that are usable for us. So this is this is going to equal to 0 0.01 or uh, 0.015 kilograms. And this is going to equal to 0 0.023 uh, meters per second. All right, now we have units that are usable. Okay, so what does power equal to? Well, power is equal to work over time, right? It's, it's just a rate. Well, what does work equal to? Well, work is equal to force times distance. Well, what does force equal to in this, um, in this, this, uh, this thing? Well, let's draw, let's draw a free body diagram. So this is a fly, or let me just draw it in white because the fly is white in this picture. So we have mg, and this fly is uh, trying to move up at, at uh, trying to overcome mg. So this has to be at least mg. Okay, but we're gonna say that it's mg because it's barely possible for it to walk up. And there's also friction here, but I don't think the, I don't think the, um, the problem worries too much about friction. So we're we're gonna say friction is negligible. Although this wouldn't really be possible if there weren't any friction. But for the sake of this problem, we're gonna say that it's negligible. Okay. Yeah. So like as if fly had some sort of a uh, jetpack or something anyway um, our force so in this case our force is going to be just mg so mg times distance over time right that that's basically it okay so what is our what is our m our m is 0 0.0015 and what is our what is our gravity well it's 9.8 Okay, sounds good. Okay, what is our distance? Well, it's unknown, but look at this one. This is 0 0.023 meters per second. What is distance in meters? What is time in seconds? So we can put this in here. So 0 0.023, because it's a, uh, it's a, uh, because this is meters. The top of this numerator is meters, and the bottom is seconds for both of these. So we can just use it. So that all over one second, right? So we can just do that and. And let's just uh, let's just use our calculator to figure out our little crap, our little value for this. So 0.015 times 9.8 times 0.023, and that is equal to 0 0.0003381. So that is equal to 0 0.000. Oh, uh, I can't remember. 3381. So 338. 338 watts. And that is going to be our answer. And that's how you solve this problem. It's really, really simple.